What is up, Spin Fam? So, this is the third day in a row I went to make this video. I've been dealing with a sick dog. My little doggy, my daughter's doggy, Speedy. Here, he's been sick. He's old. He's like 12 years old. <coughs> We're going to go to the vet today. Let's hope he's okay. Sure stinks. He's a bath. So, a little different intro there. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting up here, it's 5 a.m. Let me put on my spectacles here. Me reading glasses, it is. Let me adjust my camera here. Anyway, man, it sure looks dusty on it, doesn't it? So, today we're doing the XL Rose. Before we get into that, though, I'm going to talk a slight bit about all the drama lately, you know, like. I think I, only, I won't say any names. We know who we're talking about here. Um, I've talked to that guy so many times. Like, in person. Like, I'm not going to say we were good buddies or nothing. Oh, by the way, if I have to interrupt this video, it's because of the dog. He's now getting up, but I think he'll lay back down. He's a good boy. Stinky boy. Okay. Um, Drama-wise, you know the guy screwed up. He lied to us. I was a freshman in college. No, you weren't a freshman in college. Well, you might have been a 30-year-old freshman in college. I was a 28-year-old freshman in college, so I get that. But I don't use that to pretend I was 18 and doing things that weren't that bad when they really were terrible. So that's probably all I'm going to say about the drama there. Uh, glad it's over. And let's move on. Oh boy, here we go. He is going to get up. I'm probably going to just pause this video to go let the dog out real quick. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So we talked about the dog, talked about Butthead. Dog's back. He's chewing his morning treat. My hands, look at my hands. Got some new drugs. It looks pretty good. Normally I'd be a pussy mess by now, so... We'll take that. Um, the XL Rose, right? Look at this baby. Let's talk about it. <laughs> There's none available right now. Uh, what there is available on their website, and what website we're talking about, is cap, K A P E D C dot com, uh, Kinetic Asia Pacific. Let's see here. See if we can't find room for this little, little card right there. Oh, let's see here. There's something I want to get. So, they give you a lot of cool stuff. They give you stickers, a big sticker and a little sticker. One went on my case. One went on my little case. They like that. have that little symbol on it. You get this killer leather pouch. Look at this thing. The clasp is a little funky, but it works. And then look at this. Like, I might want to try to sew one of these. This is so nice. It's just one big piece of leather with a side panel, I guess we'd call that. Very nice. I don't know if I'll ever use it for a spinner or not, but I, I'm not a guy who puts a spinner in a case too much. I do like that, though, and I'll find something for that. It smells like leather. All right. So... Like I said, this baby costs $120 new. I got it secondhand, hence, uh, you know, let's see, I took a six-day six day delay, got lost in the mail, but it came with some little micro scratches from use, and then I've been carrying this exclusively now since last Friday. Today would be, what the hell day is it? Tuesday. <laughs> Excuse me for sniffling. Uh, it's a Tuesday, so I've had this for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four straight days in my hands. I think that's long enough to give an opinion of it. As we can see, it's quite well balanced, right? Um, so, yeah, what was I saying? They don't have any right now of these. What they do have, they have the XL uh, Glow, Turbo Glow, I guess they call that stuff. Very weird stuff, never held one. I don't do a lot of spinning in the dark, so I'm not exactly sure why I would get one something that glows in the dark. But anyway, those are 110 bucks, a little cheaper than this. They have a Pentagon Minis, 
up there also in the Turbo Bowl for 120. And then they got Zerkuti Rose. Zerkutai, I would assume you say. And then they have Mokume, which I've heard people say Mokum, Sam Malone. No, it's Mokume. And then, uh, <laughs> I know I'm a stickler for how we pronounce names like Tom Lene and Derek. Yeah, like my name, I hear him on the weekly spin. They say Derek Jorgensen. It's not Derek Jorgensen, it's Derek Jorgensen. Like, it, just like it sounds, spells like it's, you know, like Spanish. Every letter is pronounced. No silent letters. Um, so, so that's all I got on that, I guess, on the website, which I said, once again, was capedc.com. Um, I assume these are made in China. I assume Cap is in China. I guess I should look these things up. But that's that's what I've gathered from just different talk that I've heard about them. Um, great, great, great design here. Great workmanship. Very well. I've already hacked a little bit, but I will be polishing this up. Boy, I had this so looking so nice the other day when I did this review. Like I say, this is my third day in a row trying to do this review. And I've been disrupted by sick doggies. But I'm going to polish this thing up and get rid of the micro scratches and then re micro scratch it again, of course. Uh, let's see here. What should we compare this to size wise? What do we have that people know? We have a torque bar. We have. I don't have my stubby anymore. I traded it. I traded it for this. Great trade, by the way. I would never regret that trade. I'd do it again. Pressure bar mini. You got the pressure bar tries coming if you saw my review on this. And I said, hey, we want this in a try. It's coming. I'm paying for mine on Friday. I can't wait. I will have a matching set. Will I sell my iFidget and try fidget then? Hmm. I might. So, back to the road. So, let's talk buttons, right? We got this octagon octagonal design here. We got eight facets in the middle coming to a point, right? Right. Quite a brushed finish in there. I'm thinking a polish on that is going to be very pretty. Then the outside, you got three rows of facets here. And I guess what I would call diamond shapes or half diamonds. Middle rows diamonds. Top and bottom row are halves, I guess. <laughs> they are 25 millimeter. And they are very nice to, uh, buttons. I like these buttons a lot. No complaints. They're like, very grippy. A nice, you know, one thing I love about like these buttons and these buttons, the smaller version, is if you drop that, you got issues. Like there's such a rim on there, you're never going to drop it the stepped rim. Like, I have issues sometimes. Like, I sold these buttons because I dropped this sucker from holding that. I didn't want to have to squeeze so hard to hold onto my spinner. You get what I'm saying? This, these are very comfortable. Very comfortable. 25 mil, if I didn't say. Same as these. They don't seam it because this top ring is way inside. The inside ring is probably like 22, even less, maybe 20. But when you get down to the bottom on the outside there, it gets to 25 mil. <laughs> So one thing that I, one reason I never got the rose or gave it much thought was because I thought it was asymmetric, right? And it appears to be an asymmetric design. And that just doesn't appeal to me. You know, when you have like a swoop coming out, like a point, and then you have that on each one, and then you flip it and the point goes the other way, right? So on this, let's look at this one. So the, the folded edge goes underneath on the right side, right? And then the left side is flat. And of course, that's the same on all three pedals. We'll call these petals because this is the rose, XL rose. So in my mind, if I flip it, the flat spot like this should flip, right? No, it's the exact same. The flat spot is on the left, the folded part is on the right. Maybe it's my little pea brain that finds that interesting, but it's not asymmetric because it's the same no matter how I look at it. That would mean it's symmetric, right? So it has the appearance of being asymmetric, but it's not. All right, okay. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, where's my measure? Let's talk thickness real quick. I know I'm old school, I do it as a tape measure. But the thickness here, what do we got about? Eight mil, seven mil? It's a nice thickness. I have tiny little shims. Let's look under the hood real quick, since we're talking about this. I have tiny little shims just to give it 
Just a little bit of thickness, these really thin ones. Just a little bit more, I like. But we'll check it out without those. I shouldn't have, shouldn't have had those on. So that's what we're looking under the hood. Got the, the 10 hole design, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, first I've seen of that was under Cocoon. I doubt they were the first to do it. This gives it a... It's supposed to give it more gyro effect by throwing the weight to the outside more. I'm not getting a lot of gyro with this, so I'm not really sure how much... Maybe it would be less without the holes. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see because I'm not getting a lot of gyro from this. <laughs> even though it has the holes. And maybe that has to do with the weight. It's only 91 grams. I've already weighed it. You just have to trust me. And there it is without the little shims. Let's see. Oh, wait. I forgot to say, of course, that it's not a male and female. It's just a the same, what do we, what do we call that? I can't remember, but it's the same same buttons with a grub screw. Mine's glued in because it was moving too much. Hate that. Once it's glued in, I don't care. And then I can put the shims on easier if I want. So actually, I've learned to kind of like it. The dedicated set screw, I guess we call that. Or dedicated buttons, like all the rest of these basically are, except for these. Oh, by the way, I have a set of these coming. So hopefully by the time my next video comes... <laughs> I will have replaced my brass Nautilus. Thank you, Chris Pena. King Copper, love that guy. And we'll have gotten a brass talisman, something I've always wanted. I will have a matching set of buttons for these and a matching set of buttons for those. And, oh, I cannot wait. It's been bugging me since day one that they feel different. And when I ordered them, you didn't have a choice. Now you can get them, both sides this, both sides this. Or either or, but when I ordered them so long ago, back last summer, July, I think, you could only get A and B. And then the guy realized, well, or somebody told him, whatever. <laughs> Great buttons, though. 60 bucks. Yek work. I got a video on them. Go check it out. Let's digress. Back to the rows. Uh, did we ever figure out a good size comparison? It's hard to, because I don't know. <laughs> Nobody's got that to compare it to. How about... A Delta Core. A lot of people have Delta Cores nowadays. Oh, I love my polished Delta Core. <laughs> they might still have aluminum ones. Let's check out the Voda. How's it compared to the Voda? Pretty similar size there. Yeah, all right. So, fidgetability, right? Four days I've had this. Let's talk about it. This thing is so great. The, the best by my... The, here's the two ways I like to... To spin. I like to grip it and rip it. The power flick. And then I feel the gyro. Let it spin for a couple minutes. A minute, 30 seconds, whatever I want. Stop it and do it again. That's that's my favorite way to spin. But oftentimes I find myself just doing like that. The, the power pull, I guess we call that. Either hand. Worked very hard to become ambidextrous doing that. And as a former bass player in another life, I should be able to do it with both hands. Um... Super flickable. Anywhere along this curve right here, or along the fold, I call it, of the pedal. Very flickable. How you doing, Speedy? Come here, lay down, buddy. Let's lay down. Come on. Come on, buddy. Just lay down. Come on. We're going to the vet in a couple hours here. And my daughter said, don't kill him. She's 18 now. I said, I won't. We'll just spend the money and fix him. If he's fixable. <laughs> but he's not going to die today, at least. Anyway, back to reality here, or back to non-reality. Uh, anywhere along the folds, super flickable, like just a great power flick. Obviously, it's a good jib jabber. All right, if you're into jib jabbing, I suppose people are. It's good for the the power flick, I guess we call that, just because it's got this nice little indent, you know, perfect spot for that. But I like for this. It's this. It's just, it's pullable anywhere from, like, anywhere. From here, from the from the tip, all the way to there, in there. It's pullable. On the on the back side, of course, so. <laughs> There's just always something to get. I tried to cover you up. There you go, buddy. How's that? Better? Okay. Don't. 
All right, let me have a sip of juice here. It's uh, 5 in the morning we started this video today. Not sure why, but I feel more uh, productive about making videos the earlier it is. I'm an early riser. I'm a late sleeper. So basically, I sleep like two hours a day. <laughs> Maybe it sounds like that. <laughs> so, the XL... I'm so glad I don't have the smaller one. I'm sure it's very similar in size. You know, probably, I don't know, just a few millimeters smaller. Like, let me see. Let's get a rough estimate of spin diameter, shall we? About 46. So I bet the other one's like a 40, 42 maybe, the smaller one. I wouldn't like that. I like bigger spinners. Oh, don't cry for me, Argentina. Woo! I would have cried another life when I dropped my XL Rose on my <laughs> my Voda, but screw that. That's what polished wheels are for, right? You can fix anything. And I'm a dropper, as we've seen. I'm a dropper, man. If you get a spinner for me, I'm going to let you know it's going to have a mark. I, I never try to say it's clean. I just sold a banged up talisman for 35 bucks, my stainless steel one. So I never rip people off. I'm a, I'm an honest Joe, man. I'm so honest. Wow, that was weird. So can I recommend the rolls? Duh. I like, like I've said before, I don't really do reviews on pieces I don't like because I don't like them. I get rid of those. And it's really pretty rare. Almost every spinner I've had, there's something I can go, ooh, I like that part about it. <laughs> right? I'm sure most of you watching this feel the same. Um, yeah, this is a highly recommended. Is it worth 120 bucks? Yeah. Because this, if it was another brand of Triangle, would be like 180 bucks. So yeah, this is a great value that way. Uh, you know, try to decipher what I'm talking about, right? Easy if you know. This, there's no way that that spinner costs more to make than this, okay? Especially a third more. Not going to believe it, not going to buy it. You can tell me whatever you want to tell me, okay? This costs more. End of story. <laughs> you know, I've had this discussion before on the, on, uh, the old interwebs on Facebook, if, uh, you know, is it cheaper in China, America, Germany, wherever stuff is made makes the price, right? Okay, that's true. It shouldn't be true, but it's true. Because Chinese people work just as hard as Americans or Germans or Vietnamese or anybody else, right? They just got so many of them they can say they can pay them cheap because they'll find somebody to do it. Call me crazy. I'll stop. I didn't mean to get into that discussion point. Couldn't help myself. This is a great spinner. If you, uh, like I say, check the website. Go get one. They have them. Uh, not necessarily this XL Crisp Pop, uh, XL Copper one, but they have some. And they have other ones coming up and going all the time. So check it out. It's about all I got for you today. Um,. Like I say, it's the first time it's taken me so many times. The dog really disrupted me. Even paused this video for the dog. But we finally got this baby done. So let me just leave you with Oqua Tanzanwa. Let's hope, that means, let's hope my dermatologist finally found me the right medicine for me. We could be on to something here. That's what that means. Okay. Derek out. Oh, one more thing. One last thing. We talked about King Copper before. He pointed out that my, I always say Derek here at Everything Spinners. But YouTube never says Everything Spinners, even though I know I named the channel Everything Spinners. But So I, I recently changed it. So now it says Everything Spinners. And I am Derek of Everything Spinners. I'm out. Thanks, guys.